Okay, so let's look at verb. Verb, an action word, something happening, someone doing an action or an event or they're doing an activity. An action word. Often they end in ing, depending on the tense, continuous tense, present tense, things like that. So, simply, speak ing. Speaking. I am speaking. It's a verb. I spoke. Spoke. Still a verb. Spoke. Different tense. Sleep. Is he sleeping? Is he sleeping? When did you sleep? Last night? This morning? How good did you sleep? How well was your sleep? And read. I need to read more books. My books. I am reading. I am reading the board. Hmm. Reading the board. Swim. Swim. Swimming. Swimming. I want to swim the English Channel. Ah. Walk. I went for a good walk yesterday in the snow. I was walking, walking in the snow. I was walking in the snow. I walked, walked, I walked with a friend. Yeah, makes sense. Verbs, very good. They can modify a subject, a noun, within a sentence. So we can use a verb with a noun to talk about the noun within the context of the sentence. So we could say, can you ride a horse? Ride being the verb and horse being the noun. Or in this case, the subject as well. No, the object. So can you subject, horse, object, you ride. So ride is the verb, horse. Can you also, in a way, is the noun, more of a pronoun, but we'll get to that later. And a horse, being the noun, can you ride a horse? Or even can you draw a horse? Draw with a pen. Yeah. Can you, can you talk to horses? Can you talk to a horse? Horse whisperer? The thing, I guess. Can you, can you clean the horse? Makes sense. Groom. Can you groom? Can you groom the horse? Makes sense. You could even say, how long have you been driving a car? There's the noun. That's the object. Driving, verb. How long have you? There's your, ob there's your subject. Drive. We have drive. And driving. Drive, driving. How long have you been driving a car? How long have you been teaching English? How long have you been learning English? I have been teaching English for almost four years now. October 2017. October 2017. Now is January 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so verbs, yes, not always ending in ing, there's an action, we do something, read, write, listen, walk, talk, swim, climb, jump, build, install, repair, repairing, um, building, cleaning, um, writing, listening, here we got those, editing, um, tearing, studying, analysing, and beyond. I analysed the report. I am analysing the report. It depends on the uh, tense. And they can be used with a noun to make the smallest sentence possible. We could say um, Jessica ran. Ran. So run. Moni. Moni ran. Moni ran. Moni walked. Moni swam. Or we could even just simply say, run, swim, walk, talk. And that in of itself is a sentence. 
or we could include a noun as a subject. Moni ran. Adrian taught. You listened. They learned. Learn. Teach. Listen. Run. You can make a very small, simple sentence with a verb and or a noun. One or two words. Moni ran. Adrian taught. Teach. Run. How cool is that? Let's keep going.